Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about fusion. Fusion energy, the big breakthrough, what everybody's talking about, and what it means for climate change. Because that's what my inbox is really concerned with. <laughs> um, so if you missed the giant news that was pretty much everywhere, um, researchers ach achieved a massive breakthrough when it comes to fusion power. They achieved a gain in energy. Um, now, fusion is the pushing of them together, whereas fission, nuclear power of today, is splitting them. Fusion is way cleaner. There, there's no radioactive uh, byproducts from it. So, the immediate question that a whole lot of people had is, is this our, our savior? Is this the solution to the issues of climate change? Um, no, not really. Um, so this is a huge breakthrough. It's going to have all kinds of applications from energy to space travel. However, what they achieved was done in a lab. This would have to be scaled up a lot to make it uh, commercially viable. It has to be a whole lot more efficient to produce the type of energy that we, we would need. Um, and that is something that will probably happen. But the optimistic estimates are 10 years before that can happen. The optimistic Estimates. The pessimistic ones are 20 years or more. Um, during those decades, as far as climate change is concerned, we will cross a lot of thresholds between now and then. And once we cross them, it's it, a future technology can't help. So we have to act as if this isn't there. We have to act as if this isn't on the horizon. When it arrives, it will definitely help in a lot of ways. But between now and then, we still have to, I don't want to say keep doing what we've been doing. We have to do a whole lot better than we've been doing. So we can get to the point where fusion can actually be a solution. Um, that's, it's, it's a ways off for that technology to, to really be of, of use and of impact. The good news, after I give you all the bad news there, the good news is not too long ago, this wasn't possible. It was viewed as something that was impossible. And this just goes to show that, well, I mean, everything is impossible until it isn't. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.